website. Okay, now I turn to our last case. This is Sorry, but I will start uh, with a poll related to this case. Uh, I try to open this one. Uh, do you see uh, my question? In the Thales yes. classification, would you consider that nodule that the nodule shows a taller than white sign? So this is the uh, uh, question, and I go back uh, to this case. So not the right lobe, only the left lobe is interesting so here here is this module So it is evident that the depth uh, of this, the depth of this uh, nodule exceeds the length. It is, it is evident. But my question was whether this should be regarded as suspicious finding, and I turn to turn back to the answers. Uh, five answer that yes, 15 that no. We are, there are 43 participants and uh, half of them gave answer. Five would classify as a suspicious characteristics and 16 as not. I cannot decide who has right, but if we take the shape of the lobe into account, the anatomy, that this nodule was between two hard structures, the lateral wall of the trachea and the carotid artery, uh, how could this nodule uh, extend into this direction? I don't think that it would be possible uh, for such a large lesion, it should, it must uh, extend in the uh, ventral dorsal direction. So I think that uh, this is uh, not surely a pathological form of non-parallel orientation. Uh, the problem is that uh, neither Tyrets uh, makes uh, this uh, consideration and uh, does not uh, enlist uh, non-pathological forms of uh, uh, non-parallel orientation. What's your opinion, Gilles, about this uh, uh, problem? Uh, my opinion is that I hate this feature. <laughs> yeah, you hate, okay. Because, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> because uh, I do think that the literature uh, pushes this feature as a very important one and certainly very reliable one, which yes. is not because uh, you insisted I was very uh, impressed in, during uh, your uh, presentation on all the traps regarding this feature. And this is reality, wh 
what you showed, all what you showed during your your presentation is true, because most of the time, uh, when this feature occurs, if it's a true um, taller than white sign, mm -hmm. uh, this you will have other features of suspicion. So the nodule will be hypoechoic. Uh, the nodule will have irregular margins. Um, and this feature is also very much more frequent in very small nodules, but yes. small in, in microcarcinomas. So uh, there are many conditions in which this feature does not apply. And I agree with you that the tyrets does not take this into account. So there is a contradiction between the, between the literature that tells us this is a very good sign, you can rely on it, and this is not the real life. Because in real life, uh, most of the time I'm telling yes, but this is dependent because the, the nodule is located at the upper pole, or it's located at the uh, lower pole, or there is another nodule compressing it, or it's compressed by the trachea. And then it has no value, and you can you cannot rely on it. It does not modify the Tyrat's score, and uh, so everything has to be taken into account mm -hmm. to judge if this feature has some value or not when you perform yes. the ultrasound. Okay, so thank I you totally much. agree with and you at the end. Yes, thank you very much. And back to your holistic uh, approach. If we see this pattern, this is a reassuring pattern. Okay, moderately hyperkick, but absolutely regular borders. Uh, uh, I, I don't think that uh, that uh, we uh, uh, could uh, think that this nodule is uh, would be uh, problematic. And I raise your attention to this single uh, hyperkick spot. This was the only one. Uh, maybe this is a comet tail artifact because it has some taste, but it could be uh, of other, another reasons, technical artifacts. But in such a large nodule, a single, if it would be microclassification, uh, should not cause great concern. In uh, such le uh, lesion, which such a uh, diameter, a single uh, microclassic microclassification could have relevance in such a large lesion, uh, a single one uh, might have an absolutely other uh, meaning. So this should not raise concern, this single. But I cannot see the video at the moment. Uh, what, what would you say? Repeat? Uh, we cannot see the video yeah, yeah, now. You cannot see, okay, okay. okay. Oh, please. Me because I see, but you didn't don't see. Okay. Uh, yes. No. So, yes, but what, what I what I said is that this is a, a very benign appearing nodule, and uh, here here is this single hyperechoic spot. In such a large lesion, only one should not uh, cause uh, concern. Does anybody has comment or question? No? If not, this was our final case for uh, tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for your participation, but before you leave this meeting, uh, I will have another poll about the usefulness of our current uh, event. Uh, yes. I give you only two minutes to answer this poll. 
it is important for us uh, how useful it was if we, if somebody has any comments or any suggestions uh, uh, do not hesitate uh, to send me an email uh, we learn much uh, from this event from this eight month event uh, this is quite a unique uh, uh, probe for an online uh, teaching uh, we have very limited experience with but considering the omicron variant and next the epsilon variant and other variants maybe uh, we can meet uh, much more frequently uh, via internet and not personally so uh, uh, it is important uh, to draw uh, consequences from your comments Final question. Any problems with the course? No, okay. thank you. The cases are very good in my opinion. Okay. You uh, are uh, emphasizing very small distinctions between the nodules. And so for myself, uh, I'm happy for joining the course. Thank you. Okay, I'm very thankful uh, to Gilles, uh, our greatest expert, one of the greatest experts in thyroidology, uh, that he, he uh, participated the second time uh, in this course, and we, you are welcome at every every meetings. The next meeting uh, will take place uh, in the first Thursday of January, I think in 6th of January, uh, which will similarly uh, to this event, uh, type 1 webinar, when we will discuss the halo sign, vascularity and extratyroidal extension. And uh, thereafter, uh, also in January, uh, a type 2 webinar on January the 13th, when Gilles Rus and Cosimo Durante will present uh, live presentations about uh, the thyroids. So the next meeting in January 6th and thereafter January the 13th, but naturally you will get notification uh, in email uh, of these events. If no other comments, questions, I thank you very much for your participation and uh, you are more active this time than in previous uh, occasions. Uh, hopefully I, yes, I, I wish you a happy new year because this year we will not meet us again so uh, everything good for the next year and welcome to the next uh, event uh, I think five weeks from tomorrow bye bye everybody thank you very much bye 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 bye, bye. 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 thank you bye. Bye.